hi lovely people welcome to another milan fashion week vlog i am delighted to take you along with me uh, to the city of fashion to show you what people are wearing i'm going to capture some street style as well as go to some presentations to check out new collections by different designers if possible meet the designers have a word with them but before i do um, i wanted to let you know that if this is your first time you are more than welcome hit the red subscribe button so that you are notified every time i post a new video if you are returning welcome back before i forget outfit of the day i am wearing this gorgeous dress the sleeves are giving extremely extra sleeves bag from zara the dress is by highline fashion a friend of mine called linda she's a very good seamstress you just have to give her the design and she does it so she made this magic boots are old earrings from ghana and then i have my braids i just made sure that you know the red in the braids match the bag a little bit and that is my outfit of the day i hope to take lots of photos and videos so that i can you know give you a full outfit of the day you know i'll put a picture on the screen so predictions what are your predictions this year it is you know spring summer 2024 collections that are being showed i have seen a few things and i'm loving you know the fact that there's um cargo still coming back a lot of sheer people are going to be really really naked very many hot pants so yes get ready for those So I just arrived at the Afro Fashion Week Milan exhibition. Um, lots of talented designers, lots of lovely people. Michelle is here as well, who is the CEO and the founder and is a good friend of mine. I love the vibes, I love the prints, I love everything and I can't wait to show you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am a designer from South Africa. Yay! Uh, and I own a brand called the Bam Collective. Uh, Bam being my surname and the collective referring to all the people I work with. My seamstress, my tailors. The team. Kind of yeah. yeah, the team. Um, we have been running for about four years in South Africa. Mm -hmm. And we are very inspired by South Africans, the personality of South Africans. Okay. Um, South Africans are very vibrant, super fun, super friendly, very social, love to make a joke, you know. That's true. Like, <laughs> hilarious, like party anytime, anywhere, wine. dancing, drinking wine. Um, and I wanted the brand to be a representation of kind of the personality of South Africans. Okay. And the spiritedness of South Africans and that's why we use so much kind of colour and I friends, love the colour. You know, it's very, it's very and like joyous. the shapes, yeah, the they're so to, fluid. And we wanted to do, do kind of luxury in a way that's still very chic, mm -hmm. but not too serious. Exactly. You know what I mean? Not like boxes. <laughs> yeah. Um, and not boring at yeah. the same time. Um, I'm also very inspired oh, by kind of conceptual shapes and ideas and finding ways to make them wearable. Mm -hmm. Because in its essence, this dress is actually really quite wearable. Very it's wearable. It's easy to put on, it's just a zip. It has a slit, you can run, you can sit, you can dance. 
but it has a really cool detail that makes it feel slightly more avant-garde in a sense and mm -hmm. slightly more special mm -hmm. um, and i'm also inspired by emotions and how clothes make us feel and i want people to when they wear my clothes feel uplifted and feel happy even if they're having a bad day right okay um this collection we brought from south africa yeah it's launching next month at, south, at the south african fashion week mm -hmm. um and because it's my first time like showing my full collection in Milan yeah. at an exhibition, I wanted the collection to be inspired by us. I wanted it to be okay. um, the best representation of our motifs and what we do. Okay. So you will find that the waves are something that runs throughout our collection. Polka dots. I was about polka, to ask you. Yeah, <laughs> it's something we do in every collection in different ways. In yeah. Um, as well as polka dots, as well as two-tone prints. So I wanted to take all of our signature details and make them kind of the best and the most interesting they can be and bring them here. Mm -hmm. And the idea is kind of, the, the collection is called Extraterrestrialism and the idea is kind of that somewhere out there there's a BAM universe where all of my clients live and this is what they would be wearing and when they would arrive in Milan, what would they be dressed in? Exactly. You know? um, there's so many South Africans that come to visit, yeah. Like. Exactly. Um, yeah, so you can see this is our elevation of our polka dot motif this season. Mm -hmm. Each of these singular panels get done by hand. They, they get tufted by hand, cut out and sewn into the garment one by Very one soft. by one by one. Mm -hmm. um, we have a lurex stripe. Uh, we recently started playing around with pinstripes and I wanted to do a version that could easily be dressed up or dressed down, right? So it has the silver shimmer. But if you wear it with white sneakers, you can go about your day. If you wear it with heels, you can go tonight. You know what I mean? Yeah, dinner. Um, and the shimmer Very makes it feel a bit more special, but it's also kind of old school at the same time. Really nice. We have our prints. <gasps> I love the prints. Thank you. Yeah, we, um, we work with a printing house in Cape Town who prints everything for us. It's roller printed, meaning it doesn't come out of a, a printer. They, they engrave tin rollers and put paint inside and then they roll it onto the fabric and mm -hmm. everything is eco ink so it's very good to your skin and sustainable I as well personally exactly I personally struggle with eczema so I can't mm -hmm. wear like very harsh fabrics or chemicals on my body this is a cotton ticking made in Durban mm -hmm. um, from South Africa right from Durban South Africa yeah and what we do is with all of the fabric in this collection is made in South Africa from the cotton on the farms mm -hmm. and it's BCI cotton which means that people are paid fairly, they work in a safe environment, they're looked after, even their extended family members. Yeah. Um, because for me, the brand is very, I'm a very caring person and I believe fashion needs to be the same. Exactly. Exactly. And I, I hate, yeah, I'm not going to get into that, but... Yeah. Let's continue. Um, so then you'll also see like influences of Japanese and African because South Africa's got quite a diverse identity. So you'll see that we pull from that to show people we're not just one kind of aesthetic, we're several. And it doesn't matter where you come from, where you are. If you're in South Africa, we dress and pull from those references constantly. Constantly, okay. Um, when I was talking to you about modular clothing mm -hmm. and zero waste, this dress, for example, is literally a bra, which is then cut specifically to the proportion of the client. Okay, so how cool is that? Is, yeah, so you can belt it if you want it super skinny, but if you're pregnant and then you go, you know, you give birth, you lose weight, and you keep the weight, you can wear this dress. You don't have to throw it away. Amazing. So that's the whole point of modular. You can adjust the shoulders if you want to. You can tie it up, for example, here. Mm -hmm. You can tie it up and then it's like an evening gown. Or Beautiful. you can dress it casually like this with bows on the shoulders and then it's just a simple dress that you style up. Um, this top, for example, that I'm wearing, Yeah. this is one of the original samples we did in a print fabric. And in this season, we brought it back in a contrast. <gasps> Love it! Yeah, so it's like it's all this drape and fabric so that you can feel comfortable yeah. and not restricted because I don't like, I personally don't like tight fitting clothing. Yeah, right. Um, so for my clients, I've got a variety from the loose fitting all the way to the fitted gowns. Beautiful. And so this fabric, for example, this is originally it was bedding fabric, but it's just a high quality cotton and no one really uses it because immediately you think bedding. Yeah. So what we're doing is we're showing you like it's actually just fabric at the end of the day and you can transform it into a it's I like the print. And it breathes. Yeah. Yeah. So the print is printed in Cape Town and it's an archive print from the 70s. So this was originally printed onto curtains and used to sell at markets. And we've re we basically reinterpreted it onto dresses to say to people, you know, let's reference the past, bring it back but also show your identity through when you wear it. Amazing. Um, so it's very accessible. 
gray. Then you'll see a lot of bright colors um, in the collection and we use um, like draping asymmetrical details. Mm -mm. So you can wear a set like this and when cool. you walk, it opens up for example like that. And then this is all like it's blocks Free. that's Love turned it. into skirts mm -hmm. that will fit and flare. Beautiful. Um, then we also I love that it's very fluid yeah, and flowing. Exactly. For the movement. Yeah. Because in, obviously in South Africa it's quite hot. So it needs to be breathable and soft and flowy. Exactly. And then mm -hmm. for like night events, we're going into like more structured That's oversized beautiful. volume pieces. What fabric is this? Cotton? This is also cotton per cow. And then we've just dyed it locally with eco dyes um, mm -hmm. in Cape Town. Um, then we've also got adjustable pieces like the skirt. And then we throw in like just some contrasting prints for someone that doesn't want a full print garment but wants just a little bit of color and contrast. Mm -mm. And then it's fully adjustable in your waist so you can make it super tight or loose if you want, wear it by waist to go on the hip. Okay. Again, okay. speaking back to the modular clothing. Um, this is one of my favorites because everyone loves a tailored trouser. Love it. And a lot of the tailored trousers you find online are made from polyester, which is the most popular fabric. But I want to present, you know, this is polyester, but it's recycled polyester. So it's plastic bottles that's then turned into fabric. Very sustainable. Exactly, yeah. So to show people, you know, we do have alternatives. You don't just have to buy polyester the whole time. All the time, yeah. Yeah. Then you can see the Japanese aesthetic coming through in Beautiful. our overcoats. And then in the bright orange, because that represents our clientele. Yeah. So it's, you can see it's quite vibrant and joyous. And Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much. Kelly jewelry exhibition. Really, really nice. Of course, very luxurious. You're beautiful. <laughs> Thank you.
want to tell me your name? Yes, I'm Francesca from the Velvet Mitra. This is our brand. Thank you, Francesca. Cotton in the bag, all sewed together, artisanally and handmade. Recycled paper. Recycled Can I bring you all the paper in my home? <laughs> yes, I will do this. <laughs> Thank you. Ready.
So I'm here to try on um, the Diesel collection. I missed the show, my bad. Um, but I'm here to try on their runway collection and to see what pieces I like. Uh, I can't wait to show you. after I am loving these colors and the bold prints and bold jewelry and uh, I just wanted to catch you up on what happened yesterday yesterday was a very good day um, <laughs> after going to the Hermes um, boutique to check out their new jewelry collection the Kelly I think they are the mini Kelly very beautiful that I showed you you've watched in the in the vlog that you've watched um we went to the fashion hub where there are imagine designers designers that don't have the money to have your own fashion show so they all go into one big hall and um you know exhibit uh, their collections it was very nice in my opinion that is the best because they are new designers and like they're bringing something completely new like new creativity to the industry which you know the mega or big designers don't usually have and for me, I love those. I love to interact with them, love to hear the stories behind them. And, you know, there were so many from all over the world, from London, America, South Africa, lots of countries, which was super for me, in my opinion. And then afterwards, we went to a fashion show. I went to fashion show with Max Viv. I went to the Max Viv fashion show organized by the Afro Fashion Week Milan. 
my dear friends i love them uh i was there with my friend linda then met another friend called everlasting it was really nice met with some other friends and we just ended up at <laughs> wild old wild west to have dinner we wanted to have like a happy hour you know to end the evening the beautiful evening and then we ended up in old wild west we just vibed until like midnight when it was time 11 or midnight when it was time to go home i was shattered but i was very happy and grateful and you know i had a fulfilling day or oh, in between i went to try on the diesel collection the runway collection i missed their show don't ask me how or why i just missed their show and i was so sad and then i reached out to the team and they were very kind enough um to let me go check out the runway collection and try on a few pieces. I love them and I want to get something which I will show you. I want to buy something um, very nice. Probably my uh, Christmas gift is gonna come from Diesel this year. Very nice. I think I've caught you up on everything. If not, I'm going to just I'm going to just let the video roll out. But today is another day. I am headed to you know the streets of milan i'm going to the outside of some shows i'll, I'll show you when i get there uh, just to capture how people are dressed up street style because people in milan do dress up for fashion week even though they're not invited to shows and i just want to capture that and share that with you and show you you know what the buzz is like fashion wise in the city when fashion week is happening now today's like the second last day tomorrow is the last day i have an event which i am looking forward to taking you to but like i wanted to show you what it's like today's a sunday it's a bit chilled but yes let's go I just finished covering some of the looks at the Avavav fashion show. I'm in the street style. I mean, it's a very interesting brand. It's a Swedish, I think, brand with an international creative director. It's very unique. I mean, what people are wearing, uh, like really big boots, <laughs> really big jackets, big pants. It's very interesting and, you know, nice to see. I'm now heading to the Giorgio Armani one to capture the street style there.
So many people at Armani. I just wanted to show you the crowds and like a million photographers. Have a look. Hi, lovely people. It's the last day of Milan Fashion Week. I'm exhausted. I spent the whole day resting, but I'm still tired. I am now heading to the Afro Fashion Week um, like party. It's going to be at night. It is my favorite Fashion Week party, to be honest. Um, I've been going for a while, like more than five years for sure. The one in February was very nice and it's going to be in the same place. There's a DJ set, which I'm very excited about. Uh, I wanted to show you my outfit. It's something very unusual of me But um, I'm going to stick a picture or a video in there for you guys to have a look Let me know if you like the outfit. I know it's going to be vibes on vibes. Let's go <laughs> I mean, you can just look and turn around. Yeah. Oh, oh. 